Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a family. So I'm going to take three fingers at the bottom and put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a circle and a little bit further down I'm going to put another dot and draw another circle. I'm going to come back up here on the left, put a dot, draw another circle, and I'm going to come over here on the right, put a dot, draw another circle. Okay, I come on the top one and I draw a curve line out and connect on the left, curve line out, and connect on the right. Come down below, curve line out, and connect on the left, curve line out, and connect on the right. Come down to this circle, curve line out, and connect on the left, Curve line out, connect in on the right. And now come up, curve line out, in, connect on the left. Curve line out, in, connect on the right. Starting on the bottom one, we're going to go straight line down, curve line over, straight line up, connect. Come over here on the right hand side. Straight line down, curve line over, straight line up, connect. Come back to this one on the left and we're just going to draw a curve line down off the page on the left. Come on the right hand side, curve line down, off the page on the right. Now I come to this little right hand side one and I do the same thing. Curve line down on the left, curve line down on the right. Come back to the little one on the left. Inside we're going to do one dot, do another dot, little curve line, bigger curve line, little curve line, little curve line. Starting at the top I'm just going to do some wavy lines to the left, wavy lines to the right. Come down to the left on the bottom over here and just do a little wavy line connect on the left and a little wavy line connect on the right. I come over to the right hand side and right about here I put a little baby circle and then I draw a curve line up and connect on the right, curve line up, down, connect on the left. I start right here and I draw a little wavy, wavy, wavy line up, connect on the left, come on the right, little wavy, wavy line, connect on the right. Come inside, put one dot, put another dot, little curve line, little curve line, little curve line little curve line. Now we're going to work on the front characters first because then we'll do the back characters as overlaps. So now I come up to the top and I draw a straight line down, bam it crashes, doesn't matter, straight line down, bam it crashes again. On this one on the right I just have to worry about one line because this person's bow uses up that space. I don't have to worry about it. I come up to the left and I put one dot and another dot. I put a little curve line, bigger curve line, little curve line, little curve line. Come on the right hand side, put one dot, another dot, little curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line. I come back to the left. And I'm just going to draw a wavy line down on the left, wavy line down on the right, little wavy line on the left, little wavy line on the right. I come on my right hand circle, 
and I just draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line, connect on the left, wavy, wavy line, connect on the right. If you have room, now see this looks pretty closed off, but I can maybe put some on the right hand side. Just draw a line down, line down, line down, line down. See how I skipped over? Maybe a line right down here. So it looks like these people are standing in front of these people in back. And this is supposed to be a family, so this is dad and mom, boy, girl. Okay, now to kind of keep it all together, starting down here on the bottom, I'm going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, up and over, all the way around and down to the other side. So it looks like a family unit. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, when you color in people, I always like to do the faces. If you have um, a crayon color that matches the skin tone that you want, I always like to do the faces. These are the necks. Don't forget the ears. And this is only so I can see, this is peach, I think, or apricot just so that you can see what you are coloring. So I always try to do that section first. Okay? If you don't have any colored uh, skin color crayons, you can always use your brown lightly or your pink or just leave it white and leave it alone. Now, hair color, same thing. You can do whatever color you want, but what I tried to do to make my picture look symmetrical is I made the dad one the one color and then I made the little girl the same hair color just to sh show some symmetry and then I did the same thing for mom up here with brown and gave her son the boy brown hair too again this is all up to you you can make your own color choices okay now I came in and I did my little girl bow pink and this is her body down here and then I came in and I did dad blue and this is his body here so you can kind of see how he overlaps and comes behind the boy and then mom I did blue green so this is mom this is mom and this is mom again you gotta kinda of fit your colors behind each other and then for the boy I did this color now to finish it off I took my sea green sea foam green but you can use any color you want and I did straight lines all the way around my background now you can add more people just always know your front row should be full bodies and faces and then the back row you just add more circles okay let's see what this looks like all colored in okay here's my family all colored in what I would do is I would cut this out and make a pop-up that would be cute or you can use it for the front of a card, or you can just use it for a family tree. Okay, bye-bye.